morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Seppi and today I'll be walking you through my morning routine. As you can see, I usually get up and check any important emails first on my phone, then I make my bed, then I go to the bathroom and wash my face. Today my Neutrogena gel had run out, so like a true Iranian, I filled it up with water and shook it and hope for the best and then put it on my face. Then I started to brush my teeth using my Dr. Soul toothbrush. It's really good, really soft and gentle on your teeth, really cleans it well, eco-friendly and only costs four pounds. Make sure you check it out. I always need to moisturize my face after I wash it because I have eczema, so my skin gets really dry. This is the Sephora moisturizer that I'm using here, and it's really soft and gentle on my skin, although my skin's quite broken out right now. Which is why I'm using this clean and clear rapid control spot treatment. It's really good. I put it on all the areas where I'm breaking out, and it really does help to reduce the inflammation and redness in that area. Then I got changed, super fast as you can see, into some comfortable stretchy gym gear, mainly because I was going to work out later on in the afternoon, so I like to just be dressed and prepared for it. And I put on yoga with Adrian. It's really good. Some days you do morning yoga, some days you do morning meditation, and it's available on Amazon Prime, but also she has her own YouTube channel. So I basically just followed that. Today was a meditation day, so I just did some meditating. I don't think anything can make you more productive in the morning than just taking 5-10 to 10 minutes in order to meditate, clear your mind and your thoughts and just be at one with yourself. It really helps you to have a calm start to the day and leaves you feeling really refreshed. If I start the day with meditation then I usually go on to do a few stretches because I haven't done any sort of yoga so it does really like warm up my body and get me really stretched out especially in the cold weather I do feel like I wake up in the morning with quite stiff joints and so stretching them out really does help me to be more flexible and relaxed in my own body throughout the day. Then I go on to my most important meal of the day, which is a coffee. Obviously, coffee is not a meal, I'm just joking, but it is very vital for my productivity of the day. And then I go on to have a little chat with my dad, who tells me that I take after him in terms of being very active. As you can see from his dad board, this is clearly not true. <laughs> Show us your cavities, dentist. I don't have any cavities. I'm sure you do. All dentists have bad teeth. No, I'm never. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> dentists have the best teeth. That's why they all become dentists to just show off how nice their teeth are. Mm -hmm. Oh, who is that? A narcissist on the wall right there. Mm -hmm. Tis you. Tis you. Tis I. And also tis you. I then take my coffee upstairs to my room and look at a couple of important apps on my phone. No, not Instagram, the secret daily teachings app, which has really nice quotes on there, one for each day of the year. And then another app which I love is called Grateful, where you basically make a list every day of things you're grateful for. It gives you different prompts and you don't have to do it every single day, but I do feel like every time I do do this, I feel quite happy with myself and all the things that I am happy about. It just really helps me to start the day in the right frame of mind. I then go on to do my makeup. Today I was joined by my sister Sol. Usually when it's the weekends, my sisters and I, we do makeup together. And it's always in my room because it has the best lighting, believe it or not, even though we're kind of sitting against the light here. And we just catch up on everything that we have to do in terms of our own personal goals, our work together in the clinic, and anything else we want to chat about, including gossip. That's my final finished makeup. And then I'll just get changed for the day and get my day started, really. 
depending on what day it is, I'd either go to the hospital for a shift or I'd go to the clinic to see some clients or film for YouTube and shoot for Instagram. So guys, this is basically how I start my mornings most days. If I am working in the hospital, then my coffee will just be takeaway to go. Um, but today is my day off, but I use all of my days. So even my days off aren't really days off, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, welcome to my mornings. You guys probably would have noticed that I skipped breakfast. I don't recommend this for everyone, but I'm just not really in the breakfast zone right now. However, I'm trying to change that. Um, I want to start incorporating like porridge and stuff like that into my morning breakfast routine but it's all about having time which is so bad I don't have time and I'm usually not hungry which doesn't encourage me to make time for breakfast but I want to change that about me. Before I sign off on this video I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys that no perfect morning routine exists and being productive is all down to what your goals are and what you want to achieve for that day and it doesn't have to be like doing the exact same thing as me or someone else you've seen on YouTube or someone you look up to it's all about being the most efficient as possible for you and doing what's right for you if for you is better to set your alarm an hour, an hour earlier and feel like you've had an hour long lie in and that will make you more efficient than do that. I just don't want you guys to think that like the way I do it has to be the perfect way to do it or anything like that because I think you shouldn't put a lot of pressure on yourself. I think if anything the previous year taught us that we should go a bit easier on ourselves especially with everything going on in the pandemic. I know a lot of you guys who watch me are students or your fellow junior doctors and you always message me about your you know worries about school and exams and like everything that's going on in your life that you're kind of putting this pressure on yourself about and i think just my message from this morning routine is starting from the morning be kind to yourself don't set unrealistic goals for the day set things that you can actually feasibly achieve otherwise you're just going to be upset and disappointed with yourself for not achieving something that wasn't even achieving achievable to begin with you're setting yourself up to fail almost if you set yourself up with too many tasks so be kind to yourself be kind to your soul i don't always um meditate every morning or do yoga every morning but whenever i am stressed i do try and wake up 10 minutes earlier and do a morning meditation or a morning yoga and i really want to make it something part of my every single day routine because it just makes you feel so much better and you're in such a better headspace for the day so those are a few tips that i have for you guys i also want to make a, a video about um how to set new year's goals and be successful in the year last time i did this um in january setting new year's goals in a youtube video Video. that year my YouTube really took off but I always look back at that video and it makes me smile that like the energy that I put out there came back to me and I want to talk to you guys more about energy as well so if you guys are interested in that video then comment down below and I can film that for you guys I love you all so much and I just want to wish you a incredible year ahead I want it to be filled with happiness for you guys filled with love I hope that you guys overcome any difficult obstacle thrown in your way anything you're dealing with right now i am sending you so much energy and love i just hope that you guys are safe happy and blessed don't forget to check out my socials they're always linked down below my instagram is persian bunny my snap is sepi samai and my clinic instagram is dr s aesthetics i love you guys so much and i'll see you next time bye